guys, this is Emma at the Vlog Lady, and today I'm going to be talking about the new trailer that's just come out from Showtime for Twin Peaks. It is the most revealing trailer we've had so far to date, and it shows a lot of the characters of Twin Peaks that we know and love. I've got to admit, I was so excited when I saw the trailer, excited to hear the first words from the new series as well. So I'm just going to do a quick video dissecting the trailer. So first of all, we see um, a shot of the road, sort of like from the perspective of a driver perhaps um it's a very dark road looks a bit scary looks like we might be going into twin peaks or leaving twin peaks but it's certainly a road through a forest a deserted road a road that is perhaps the beginning of everything perhaps the road leads us back to twin peaks after 25 years maybe we're all on the road <laughs> I sound like Jack Kerouac now. The second shot shows Ed. I'm not sure where Ed actually is, but he is in a kind of strange <laughs> room with a bear head on his desk. He seems to have some coffee from the Double R Diner um, because the logo, the Double R to go, seems to be written on the outside of the cup and he's twirling the cup around as if he is reading the logo um, or he could just be contemplating life or contemplating Norma. The room that he's in looks a little cluttered and disorganized as though he hasn't really had time to get on top of things and he also has a somber expression on his face as if life is hard for him. I would say that just from that very brief second I would say that he is not a happy man. The second shot we have is Carl Rod. <laughs> it's a very brief shot of Carl Rod. He seems to be sitting on an outdoor bench or seat somewhere, perhaps in the trailer park, the Fat Trout trailer park, and he looks scared. He seems to be looking up into the sky and he has an expression on his face as if something is coming down on him. Something is coming as if something is coming down upon him or if, as if he sees something in the in the sky or as if he sees a vision perhaps but he does look scared and almost as if he is scared of something like death that's that was what my immediate thought was like this is a man who is quite old he looks elderly um, and he looks worn out and he's sitting down and he's waiting for something and something is coming towards him. Could it be death? And that's what I immediately thought, but it could be a lot of things, obviously, because the shot is so brief. Um, but I thought, you know, I was very excited to see Carl Rod again because I thought that in Firewalk With Me he is such an interesting character. He doesn't have a lot to do in Firewalk With Me, but it's a bit like the Bowie moment, you know, he, he makes a big splash when he appears on the screen and what he says is really cryptic and it makes you wonder about his story and of course we've had a lot about his story in Mark Frost's The Secret History of Twin Peaks. I recommend reading that if you want to know more about his character. The next shot is Sarah Palmer in a supermarket. Now this shot made me think that what we're going to see in the new Twin Peaks is quite different from what we saw in the original because I don't remember shots like this in the original where kind of there was a mundane sort of um, vibe to it you know and not many not many location shots I guess in different places like a supermarket or a store or a post office even even um, the look of it, it just it felt very raw and real not kind of misted over as if as if it was a movie store you know what i mean as if it was like a movie set store it looked like a real shop and it looked as if sarah palmer was lingering in the booze aisle <laughs> not surprising that she might have turned to booze after what happened to her family i guess that we might be seeing some kind of alcohol addiction with sarah quite sad she looked a little sad as well, downtrodden and mournful, and why wouldn't she? The next shot is showing Hawk. He is talking to someone and he says the words, really, that's the first words we've heard from the show. He obviously seems to be affirming something, perhaps someone is disbelieving of something. 
He does seem quite sad and serious when he says these words though, so whatever has been said before that um, is obviously something of great importance. We see a shot of Andy. There is a car behind him on the road with an open door. Andy looks up along the road as if he is waiting for someone or waiting for something to happen. He has a slightly startled look on his face, which I guess isn't new for Andy, but perhaps this is indicative of the situation rather than than of Andy's character in this particular scene. We can get the idea that something bad is happening because of the fact that there has to be a police presence. The final shot shows Cooper. He looks damn fine and I don't mind saying that myself but he looks as if he's speaking to someone. We can see this, the shoulder of someone just on the edge of the shot, someone with blonde shoulder length hair and they seem to be wearing a dress with a white collar, perhaps some kind of dress, top or uniform. Um, it looks like it could be Naomi Watts because I think she has hair like that that stops at the shoulder and is slightly curled. Agent Cooper seems to have just received some news from this person and he turns around in what seems to be a moment of fear, a moment of anxiety almost. Seeing Cooper's face again like that made me realise how invested I particularly am in his journey and I think everybody will be. <laughs> he is just such a great character and from this very brief shot I think we can tell that he's going to undertake some huge journey, some huge adventure, which is going to be very difficult and very traumatic. Once again Cooper is outdoors another outdoor shot, another shot which um, doesn't look glossy or misty, it looks super clear and super bright. Makes me think that everything's going to feel really real and raw and very different from the original Twin Peaks where everything kind of seemed to be in a rosy world, an untouchable world of um, unreality. My immediate thoughts on seeing the entire trailer was Wow, something has changed in Twin Peaks. Nothing is kind of perky anymore. Everybody is really depressed. <laughs> My second thought was a lot of time has passed. Um, all these characters, they, they all obviously look older because they are older, but again I think their situations seem to have changed them and um, who they are as people. They have changed, but they are the same people. I mean, you can tell that they're the same people, but they've also been through a lot and you can tell that as well. I definitely got the feeling that this new Twin Peaks is still identifiable with the old one, but that in terms of style and everything that it is quite a lot like Firewalk With Me, which I personally think is a more modern style um, and more Lynchian. This was the second trailer that we've had showing new footage from Twin Peaks 2017. The first trailer showed a lot of locations such as the Fat Trout Trailer Park and the Sheriff Station. There was also a shot of the Double Odd Diner. A lot of vehicles parked alongside it. You know, everything looked very modern and current in the trailer. It was very reminiscent of my own visit to North Bend kind of just looked like a photograph that I'd taken of the area so it was very weird to see that looking just as it is. Instead of some kind of manipulated picture, whereas I think a lot of the shots of the Double R Diner in the original Twin Peaks seem to have this painted look, as if there was a painted backdrop. <laughs> I'm curious as to why they allowed Hawk's voice to be heard in this trailer and why the words really were the only thing that was said you know, in terms of showing us new footage. Seems kind of odd, but also cryptic and typically what we'd probably expect from Lynch and Frost. <laughs> Just wanted to quickly talk about the trailer because I'm completely excited. Was kind of hyperventilating when I first saw it. <laughs> if you have any thoughts about it, please leave them in the comments below. If you saw anything unusual or fascinating, or if you just have any thoughts about what you think about the tone and the, the mood of the trailer, I'd love to hear it. 
and you can subscribe to my channel if you like Twin Peaks, if you like David Lynch. I'm also on Twitter at The Vlog Lady and Facebook at the same name if you want to connect with me there. And that's it. Goodbye.